Uh, guess I know the routine now, my opening remarks, huh? Um, you know, first things first, uh, you know, I in, made some lineup changes. Um, and, you know, I'm not really, me personally, I, I'm not really big on lineup changes and I'm not really big on talking about lineup changes because I, I don't think there's nothing to discuss. I think that, you know, each guy has a job to do and, you know, I have a job to do as well. And I think, you know, in making changes, I, I, I look at overall what what can impact the team. It's not really what impacts me. It's not it's not a um, I don't make hasty decisions. I'm a process guy. You know, I'll sit on it for a little bit, and you know, um, you know, I inserted Nate and E B into the lineup, and you know, E B you know, being in the lineup tonight, I just thought it was good. And I, I really now just getting a chance to look at the numbers and I thought it was good because it just gave gave a size to match up with Bell. And, um, you know, although Bell doesn't average 15, 16 points, you know, his impact on the game and the way he can finish around the bucket, you know, and I'm looking at his stats, he only got four attempts. You know, so for me, E.B. did his job tonight and I thought he, I thought he played, I thought he played great. Now his numbers and the stat line don't show it. But the 18 minutes that he played was really important in Garden, in Garden Bell, you know. So um, he he did his job. He's been working, you know. He's been working his butt off to, you know, be a, be a, be a pleaser, you know. what I mean, and you know, I, you know, guys that serve guys like him, you know, it's nice to reward them, you know. And 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 he get an opportunity to to go out there and impact the game, and um, you know, with Nate, it's weird. Um, because I took Nate late. Um, I don't even know if people know. He reclassified. So he should be in high school. And, you know, I've been seeing him coming and playing well for a long time. But, you know, sometimes with, as with anything, you like, you know, it's two veteran guys ahead of him. So you just kind of, you kind of, you know, look the other way, so to speak. You know, you, know, I know he, you know, he can, he got his time. Let, let's see what it looked like. But, you know, Nate is one of those guys that he, I think, for me, he's war on me. He's war on me, and, you know, I just like, I, I like the way he plays. I like the way, um, you know, guys play with him. You know, he, he has a calming influence on guys, and I, I know it's going to be ups and downs, and I'm all right with that. Um, but sometimes you just got to see what you got. And, um, you know, he took advantage of, a, of an opportunity tonight, and I thought he played well. He had his ups and downs, but he played 31 minutes. He have not played 31 minutes all season until tonight. So for what he did, um, you know, and I know he got, you know, he got a little tired, legs got tired and different things for what he did as a freshman against a top 25 team that, that, that applies a lot of pressure on the defensive end. I mean, I thought he was great. And, um, you know, just collectively as a group, I just loved our defensive intensity. Um, I thought that uh, from jump, you know, we made a concerted effort to, to, to be in position on defense. I thought we made a concerted effort to help the next person. Um, we were in gaps all game long. Um, we just did a great job. We had active hands, uh, you know, so I was, I, was, I was pleased. I was really pleased with that. Um, you know, offensively, I thought in the first half we were really good. I thought we passed the ball. We shared the ball. We did a lot of good things. In the second half, I thought we got a bit stagnant, um, you know, and that's, how, that's where we got to get better. Um, you know, we got to be able to take care of the ball. We got to know time and clock. I thought we were careless at the end. You know, when when the clock is our friend, we made it our enemy. And, you know, we were just doing what I thought was was eh, just, I won't call it anything, but we haven't been in that situation before. And we'll work on that and we'll get better. But collectively as a group, I love the way this, these guys responded after uh, getting beat by Cincy. And, and the thing about it is, even with the Cincy game, for a half, I thought we were fine. In the second half, I just thought we fell apart. Um, and, you know, I challenged the fellas, and um, I thought they did a great job this evening. Okay. Questions? Rob? You talked earlier about by having that bounce, and, and George seemed like he has that same type of bounce. 
uh, I, I imagine it was important for him during the game to be able to go over and talk to you during foul shots that time type of thing to you know give him some knowledge do you feel that helped him out and calmed him down a little yeah, I mean, you know, Nate is Nate is calm. I mean, he, you know, he he's been around basketball a long time. You know, he, you know, he's from he's from Toronto. You know, so that's my connection with him. I, I know I know his people, and um, you know, he he just you know as he, you know it's 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 crazy to even watch him because he he does he has a little bounce to him. He he just knows how to play. You know, he has. He has a nice little flow to his game, and, you know, he's only going to get better. I mean, he's a freshman, you know what I mean? And, you know, I think one of the things that made me even want to even put him out there is I look around the country, and they talking about this freshman guard and that freshman guard, and I said, I just need to buy stock in my own guy. And, you know, I throw him on the court, and, you know, I think he'll only get better and better. And, you know, he's going to make mistakes. I mean, I, I understand that. I really do. I, I understand what this looks like. But I always say this. If my college coach didn't believe in me, I may not have ever been the player that I needed to be. So it all starts somewhere. When you were recruiting Nate, I mean, what did you see in him that thought, all right, this is a guy that, that I'd like to coach? This is the craziest thing. Nate fell in my lap. I had a scholarship. It was late in the game. Um, he was getting recruited by low majors, low majors, mid majors, what what everybody call them. But I mean, they were good good schools. And um, you know, he came here, and uh, I think he might have signed and like. It might have, yeah. It was like it was. It was literally like he got here the first day of class, maybe or the day before class, you know. And so, um, you know, the recruitment was. It, it wasn't really a recruitment. It was kind of speed dating. <laughs> it was. It was speed dating. Hey man, you, I got a scholarship. You know, coach, I want to come. All right, come on. <laughs> you know, so. It was uh, it was one of those things, but you know I would say um, you know since he's been here, he's gotten better each day. Again, once he gets stronger, um, once he gets in better condition, um, you know I think he'll be, I think he'll be a really good player here at Tech. And I mean to ask a freshman again to come out here, and you know he played 31 minutes against you know 20 21st ranked team in the country, and then we. You know, got another one on Saturday. So, I mean, I think he held his own. I'll just let him live in his, live in his moment right now and not bother him. We got an off day tomorrow, and we'll get back to it on Thursday. But, you know, I'm proud of him. I am. I'm proud because it's not easy. I, I know I, I've been there before, and it's, it's not easy to do that. The kid had not played one game. And then just to come out there and start, but to play the way he did, you know, I, I was proud of him. You know, Miles shot really well in the first half. Then not so much in the second half, but the thing I was impressed with was his defense was very good. And then his defensive rebounding was very key, especially when he went small. Uh, can you just talk about him kind of buying into doing those little things? And maybe that was something he wouldn't have done a year ago in terms of just getting out, crashing the glass, and, and trying to jumpstart things that way rather than forcing the ball and shooting. I liked, I liked Miles' game. Um, even though he didn't shoot the ball well, um, especially in the first half, I thought he did a great job, you know. But I, I think with Miles, I, I think what Miles is learning from me, um, and this is my thing with him. Forget being here at Tech. If you want to make some real. If you want to make some money. If you want to play in the NBA. You got to play hard all the time. Now you got to be a two-way player. You got to be able to knock shots down. You got to be able to defend. You know, you got to be able to make a play off the off the bounce. And so I think that those are the things that I'm challenging him with. And, you know, I was proud of him today um, with the 12 rebounds. Um, you know, Miles is a he, – he, I think he's a bit tougher than what most think. And, you know, once we clean up this shooting percentage and, you know, knock down a couple more of those shots, you know, again, you know, I said it, said it earlier, you know, Miles, you know, to me is – you know, all league, you know, all American candidate type player. You know, he 
he has to, you know, be good for us every night. And, you know, the one thing about it is he responded and he answered the challenge um, on a personal level today in terms of playing with a little more toughness and giving a little more grit. But he's coming. You look at the shooting percentage for the game, 34%, and you think, well, we probably weren't able to beat a, a top 25 team shooting that way. But the the loose balls, the keeping the, the ball alive on rebounds, I think that really played an important role tonight. You know, what did you see there? Um, you know, I've seen, I seen the same thing. I just I, – I, I think that defensively we just had so much pop you know, all night long. And I think uh, even in the second half, uh, what happens is, is, you know, you play good defense, then you start to walk the ball up the court a bit. Um, and I did that at times just to try to get guys blows a, a bit. But I, I would say this, when we get real legs under us game, I, I always say this, there's a difference between practice legs and game legs. It, it really is. But when you get game legs, you got to get a stop and you got to run out. You got you got to put keep putting pressure on on that opposing team, and you got to continue to pressure, continue to pressure, and continue it. But you got to play smart with that, and that's where we got to get better. I was curious about Amari. Was that coach's decision, or is he banged up? Um, just what's going on there? Yeah, Amari, Amari, Amari's fine. You know, Amari's fine. It's you know, it was just a, my decision. You know, nothing. Nothing's wrong. You know, Amari's going to be a good player. Um, you know, I just – I think, you know, everybody's still getting used to me. I, I'm really not big – I'll always say this. I'm not big on, you know, uh, all the little things that we talk about and why this and why that. I, I, I keep that between him, between me and him, you know, because we still need him. And um, – and this thing changes all the time, you know, and I say this, you know, way back when I was in Portland, I told you, you can look it up. I told my team, I told my team this, you know, I can't remember what year it actually was. Maybe it was 02, 03. If you go look at my stats as a, as an NBA player in 02, 03, they went down to like five or six points. That's because when I was in Portland, they got mad at me and they benched me and they benched me for 14, like 14 straight games. And, you know, like I tell my guys every day, it doesn't always go your way, but you don't ever let nobody break you. You got to work, you got to work, you got to work, period. You got to work. And so, um, you know, I think with Amari, um, he's going to be fine. You know, he's one of mine, you know, and, 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 you know, I trust him and I trust him to do the right thing and, and, and keep getting better as a player, and he and, and, and he's going to help us win some games this year. Anything else? Charles? Just one more on Nate. I believe I <clears throat> I heard this, but I want to make sure I was hearing you right. You when you made that call on Nate, that was, you weren't you weren't making it just for one game. You're making it to give him a run at this starting position. I mean, you know, we'll see how it goes. I'm not really like I said. I'm not really. It's it's, it's really no big deal. I mean. The, you know, the young man came in he, and he played really well. You know, I I think that, um, you know, again, for me, like, I probably knew I was going to start him the moment we lost to Cincinnati, but it's no big deal. I think that he came in and, and he just played his game, you know, and so moving forward, uh, we'll see what it looks like. Um, but I don't want to make it a big deal because I need everybody. You know, I always say this, you know, this is the margin of error, and I believe this. Our margin of error between being a really good team, being a mediocre team, being a bad team is this much. This how the games look, you know what I mean? And so we lost to UMass Lowell a couple weeks ago, and this was the margin of error, right? Tonight we won the game. This is the margin of error, and that's who we are. We have 10, 11 really good players. And I think I got to maximize everybody that we have. You know, right now there's not a lot of separation, and I'm all right with that, you know. It's not how I've coached in the past, but it's how I'm going to coach to win games. And so um, I'm married to winning. Um, 
I'm not agenda driven with what I do and and how I put guys out there on that court. So, you know, whatever's best for the team, you know, that's what I'm gonna ride with. Thank you, coach. Yep. Yep.